so I don't have no wig on. But I wanted to show you guys how I wear my hair underneath the wigs. I know I have a really short haircut. I'm actually throwing, growing it out. I'm growing out my short haircut, so my hair is natural. So what I do is just twist it up and put a wig cap on. Pull the wig cap back just so it can show a little scalp, and that's it. So the wigs I'm going to be showing you are from ElevateStyles.com, and I'll put the links below to all the units. And the first one I'm going to show you is R&B. It's a very natural wig. All of the wigs I'm wearing are synthetic. They're very nice synthetic wigs. So I wanted to show you guys that. Here's straight out the pack. You can see the coloring. And this hair can have heat on it. Like you can curl the hair. Uh, but the curling iron have to be on one, 400 degrees. No higher than 400 degrees because you can burn the hair. There's combs in the back. And two on the front. And I did cut the lace already. This is how it looks straight out the pack. You got to work with these wigs. So this is how it looks without any hair left out. Because I know some people are going to want to see that. So, And I love the color. The color is really pretty. that the hair can be curled and the trick is that um when you curl it you have to hold in the heat and the curling iron has to be on 400 degrees no um hotter than that because it will burn the hair so what i'm gonna do to set it is use pins and i'm just gonna let it fall in my hand you gotta keep it curled though because it can straighten and kind of fold it, curl it back. So I'm curling it and I'm just gonna pin it so it gets set. And I did these like that. You see how it's some pretty curls. So you can do like a really cute Marilyn Monroe style with this hair. I'm gonna curl the rest, but I'm gonna probably curl it on the wig head because it's kind of hard for me to do. It. <laughs> it's hard, hard for me to do it um, on myself. So I'll show you the results. Okay, I curled the whole wig. I had to take it off and put it on a mannequin head. So I just put the pin curls in so it can set the curls. And I'm just taking them out. You know, they only need to set for like 30 seconds. Like, not that long. And you know, for it to give that full Marilyn Monroe look, you have to pin, pin it up. So I take a bobby pin. Push it up and pin it up. unit is color 4327 so I will have the link below and I'm gonna show you the black one so again another Olivia Olivia color 1b
looking very shiny but you can always put a little cornstarch or something like that on the hair to bring down that shine very natural look put on a little hat or something like that and go and you can look real cute <laughs> it's the 21 tress gorgeous unit I love 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 this one I love the curls you know I just have to finger comb the curls out a little bit so it can look a little bit more natural but as the wig gets older I'm sure the curls are gonna look gorgeous even more gorgeous very full and long unit again this is 21 tresses and you can curl this hair with 400 degree heat Oh, and what I do to cover up the lace of the front so I can leave a little bit of my hair out I just Cover it with some black eyeliner. Just get some cheap Nick NYX black eyeliner and just cover that lace up and it will look more natural. And the color is 1B. So I'll have the link in the information box if you guys want to check it out. All of these units again are from ElevateStyles.com. This is the HL Angel. And I also have another color in this, which I'm scared to wear. <laughs> it is blonde and brown. I will show you guys how that looks on a mannequin head so you guys can see. And that's about it, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial on me curling synthetic hair, how to style it. I will also do a video on how I wash synthetic hair. It's very easy. So that's about it, you guys. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.